Hi, everybody. Welcome back to We Are Only Human, the official podcast of the College of Education and Human Sciences. We are so excited you're here with us today. It is burning in still water. And so I hope by the time you watch this, you're a little bit fresher than we are today. Um, today we have um, Josie. She's here at OSU with the Opportunity Orange Scholars. Did I get that right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and we have and we have Rebecca. She is her program partner through this um, program, I guess. <laughs> so we're going to talk to them a little bit about um, what they're doing here. I want to start by asking Josie. I heard that your dream was to come to OSU. And there was a big revelation when you found out that you're going to come. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Uh, yes. How was it? It's... Well, it's great. So have fun. Yeah. Did you? Why did you always want to come to OSU? Um, I'm doing like learning and for focus, focus my school and do my school homework. That is awesome. Are you enjoying it? Do you like it here? Yes, I do. Where's your family from? It's from. Edmund. Okay, so it's a quick drive. Did they come to OSU as well? Uh, yeah. Okay, so I want Rebecca to tell me a little bit about what you do in this program and how did you get to meet Josie? Absolutely. So my title is an academic or a program partner. And so what my role is, is to support Josie in all of her academic and career success goals. So we do a lot of things with talking about what her plans for after college are and different steps on how she can get there. We um, work through all of our homework assignments, tracking grades and talking to professors about what we can do to be better and just keep growing and growing towards the goals that she's set. So we meet once or twice a week and just go through her different goals and making sure we have a good plan on how she can reach them. And then we met. Um, I was given Josie as my partner over the summer, our scholar partner. And um, I got to meet her on move-in day. I got to help her move into her dorm and just oh. see how fun and cute her dorm was set up. And then, um, yeah, so it's been really great to work with Josie. We got to meet and hang out right off the bat and go to lunch and walk through classes and just do all sorts of fun stuff and then get into more of the businessy the, stuff. Oh, and what is your favorite class? It's pre leadership and mm -hmm. goals and whether we're being the dark stuff, but yeah. Is it hard? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's just fun. Well, I but I he, like I am a I'm tough, so yeah. yeah. Yes, you are. I would not I have a hard time with classes like that. I really do. Math, don't throw it my way. Mm -mm. Are you taking any math? Uh no. Oh good, thank God. Um what are you most looking forward for the next four years shared at OSU? Well, I do the well, I'm do like gaining clubs and the clubs and jobs. Yes. Are you a student too? Yes. What year are you? So I'm a junior. I've okay. been working for OOS for the last two years. You start as a sophomore just so that you can kind of have a year under your belt before getting into helping other people because you got to okay. help yourself first. Yeah. But yeah. So I'm a junior. I've been doing it for the last two years. That's cool. Would you guys want to tell us a little bit um, why this program is so important to students here at OSU? What is the special thing about it? Josie, you want to give us a head start? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? Well, I can tell you a little bit what I think about it. So, um, our program is an inclusive post-secondary education program, which means students who typically wouldn't get the opportunity to go to a post-secondary program or college or university because of the different GPA and academic requirements, specifically students with intellectual disabilities, do get to go. And so that's super awesome about our program is that now there's a place for people who typically would just age out of the public school system and then have to figure it out on their own and with their parents. But now um, OSU and a couple other schools around the nation offer opportunities for kids to come to school and keep studying things they care about about and graduate with an undergraduate certificate that can support them in the jobs that they want to secure in a real 
like college experience which yeah. is awesome so we're a two-year program working on growing to four but right now it just gives them the opportunity to get oh oh was that you I don't think yeah. so. I think we have another friend <laughs> another named Josie. Friend, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so they graduate with an undergraduate certificate in career and community studies. That's and awesome. It just helps them in a lot of different ways that they can really secure the job they want afterwards. Yeah. Um, I heard you were in a, uh, how do we call that? It's not a, a, a fashion show a couple of months ago. Yeah. It's a fashion show. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Uh, yeah, sure. How was it? Well, second, it's great, and I walk on a, I walk at a catwalk. Oh, my ancient. So yes. Do you think you're gonna do it again? I guess. I guess probably yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, you're gonna have to invite me. I'm gonna want to go and watch you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, you have to give your information to the Euphoria Fashion Show. Ooh, yeah. that would be fun. <laughs> um, Josie, one last thing for the people watching us. Um, what is something you want our viewers or listeners to know about your college experience? The same for you, Rebecca, about the program. Anything we didn't talk about that you would like for them to know? Well, I'm going to do, like, I'm going to do and join the fashion club <laughs> and coaching and production stuff. Oh, that is fancy. And so something really cool about the program is that I get to hear that and then make it happen. And that's so special for me to just, you know, give Josie that opportunity where at other schools that wouldn't have been possible to be able to lead her through these internship and pre-internship courses and narrow it down to what she wants to do and then really make it happen, like collaborating with the faculty staff here at um, OSU. And so it's just been really special to get to make her plan and yeah. dreams come true just like how I get to make mine come true and just help her every step of the way where she needs it and that is awesome yeah. let us know about the euphoria show we will be attending to that and we will be finding you <laughs> um if there's not anything else that you guys want to share I thank you so much for coming Absolutely. I've loved chatting with you guys I've loved getting to know you um are you going to the any of the games um, Football games. Well, I'm going to my school game. Okay. Is at Hok- like homecoming games, mm. and they will do announcing my name to the nationals. Really? When is that? Like week from Friday. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Yeah. Take a lot of pictures. Well. Yeah. Ask your parents to take a lot of pictures because you're going to be busy. (laughs) Thank you so much for coming. Thank you guys so much for watching. We had such a great time today. Um, Please tune back in next week. Um, I'm your host, Louisa Clausen, and this is the official podcast for the College of Education and Human Sciences. A mouthful. Thank you, guys.